Hello there, I'm looking at a Payday 2 video that I made ages ago and never actually made. I'm looking at the Shadow Raid, I'm doing a Shadow Raid run, if you will. Um, essentially I wanted to make this because I saw on a few other forums people saying that they don't like the, this mission and it's too hard. And I'm going to prove them wrong by doing this on Overkill solo. And I'm going to talk you through exactly how to do this. Okay, um... Right, so under the pre-planning, what you want to do is you want to drop body bags just there. And here we go. You want some thermite just there. And then you also want to do an additional drop-off point just down here. These are all things that just make it a little bit easier for you, make it much more doable. Okay, so you want to go as light as possible. So you want to wear your suit. You want a silenced pistol if you've got one. Um... And just whatever you can do to bring your visibility down, really. Because you get, you get seen and this one is over. Right. Okay, so I'm going to talk you through some of the variations on the level as I go past them as well. Uh, I actually recorded this ages ago, so I may be forgetting a little bit of what I did. Okay, so here's your thermal paste just here. Okay, so you want to take one of those. And as you come over here, just to the right there, there's sometimes a camera. Though there's not on this run. Okay, also I'm going to be looking around for some gauge packages too. Okay, we'll cut our way through the fence here. Uh, here we go, one gauge package. And is there a guard here? Yes, there is. There's a guard either here or in another location. And what you want to do is very quickly answer this. Sometimes there is a guard on the other door that's behind here. And in that case, you'll get seen and the gig will be up anyway. Unfortunately, there's not a lot you can really do about that. And I can understand that's why some people don't like this level. Um, one bit of bad luck can cost you the entire game. Okay, here's your additional body bags here as well. Okay, so we've put that one out of sight. You've always got to be wary as well of killing too many people because after a while, your pager will go funny. Okay, right, we've got a guard there. Like I said, there's sometimes down here. I don't know whether that one's going to move or not. And I really can't remember. Like I said, I made this a while ago. Okay, we'll just leave him for now. Anyhow, sometimes there's a cocaine bag in there. Okay, so down here... You're able to use some thermite. The reason you want to go into the building first is because the helicopter that comes along will either drop a an idol, an artifact that is worth a lot of money, or it will drop off more guards into the building, making it that much harder to get about inside there. So it's best to get this bit really done first. Okay, so once you're up here, we'll get this manhole out of the way. Like I said, people say they really struggle with this. Okay, straight away you've got some cocaine there. We'll throw that down there. We won't actually take that back just yet. Like I said, this is all about speed. Okay, uh, there's a weapon just here. Again, we'll throw this down the hole. And yeah, like I've been saying, there is an element of luck to this. Um, you need to have a good run. But I'm just really proving that this is doable. Okay, sometimes you have an artifact at the end of the run there. Uh, sometimes there's cocaine in another room. Ah, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to get a crowbar. Like I said, I recorded this video a while ago now, so I can't exactly remember exactly what I did. I just thought, as I've got time, I'll finally do this. Okay, the reason you needed that crowbar, and that crowbar is almost always there on overkill. Uh, you want to open this crate. Usually we've got something in here. Here we go, some money. Okay, so... On overkill, you need a total of nine packages. On the easier settings, you need things like three or two or one. Uh, sorry, uh, I think it's two for the easiest setting. Okay, in here, sometimes you'll find some cocaine. Okay, civilian, we'll get out of there quick. And that is it done. Like I said, in that little room there, you can sometimes find more cocaine. Right, so we're not even going to take those back yet. We're still just going to dump those and leave them. Uh, I believe where we want to go next is up the top. Okay, that guard we killed earlier, if he's not there, there's usually one just there that you need to take out and be very wary of that. You've also got cameras all the way along here. You've got one there. Sometimes you have another one just where I am now. Sometimes you have one just above this door where you go in. Okay, so right now we have no ladder. Sometimes there's a ladder at that place where I said the other guard would sometimes be. But if that's not there, you have to go in this way. Um... Well, you can go in through the building, but this bit just seems a little bit safer. You need to make a jump over here. And sometimes there are guards up on this roof. There isn't on this occasion. I've gotten lucky. So you need to jump across, get up here, and get over. Right. 
again, sometimes there's some gauge packages just around here. In fact, there is one there. Got it. Again, you need the DLC in order to do this, really, but uh, just think for those who have that DLC, you're going to pick up on some of the spots just here. Okay, so we're breaking into this bit up here now. Um, this is where it gets a little bit riskier. It's far easier to get spotted up here. So, <sighs> thrilling viewing here. I'm sure you love these lockpick sequences on the Payday 2 videos. Okay, so in here, there's sometimes a server up there, though we've drawn a blank on this one. There's sometimes a money bag underneath the desk here as well. Again, not this time. There's sometimes a painting on the left, but I've come up short. But there is a money bag over there. Um, it's going to be risky to make this run. But here we go. Grab that, and we need to just move, 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 move. There's another crowbar on the left there you might have seen as well, which will come in useful for people that don't have one yet again throw these down because we want to get the inside bit done as quickly as possible there was a camera that i just ran past there that didn't manage to spot me but yeah i, I actually find this one of the most enjoyable missions to do it's even better we when you've got a group together um being able to coordinate through it in some ways it makes it harder but in other ways if you all know what you're doing it feels incredibly good the other thing i want okay uh, I'll stop talking here simply because this is the helicopter coming in now, which is going to be carrying either more guards or um, or another artifact. And if it was guards, I could tell you we would not really be able to carry on in here because it just gets too risky. So again, there's a weapon there. I've already taken the cocaine. Um, you'll be able to tell if this is an artifact or or more people by the sound that will be made. Okay, so in here, you sometimes have uh, some another item, but again, you'll need a crowbar to break into it just in front of us there. Um, here we go. Uh, some cocaine, fantastic. Right, so again, throw this down. It sounds like they're guards, and this is the reason as to why you have to be quick on this level. Because now it is getting incredibly hard inside there. Uh, there is more towards the back room. I think in the very back room there's sometimes some cocaine. Uh, there's sometimes a cocaine or a weapon in that other place that we're looking at. So now that the guards are here we can just cash everything in. Because the more we have put away and in there... Um, put it this way, the safer it will be. Uh... I realise as well this may not be the most entertaining video. This really was just... I made this video just really to make the point that this is doable even on your own, basically. Because, um, yeah, I, I, I went on uh, a video. It was actually Pro Jared, one of Pro Jared's videos where he attempted this level. And people said that uh, they really don't like this level at all because it's just... They say the stealth mechanics are no good on this game and that they've just made it way too difficult. And really, it's not. Okay, so this is now slightly risky again because we know there's people that have been dropped off because they'll get dropped up, off up on the very top of the roof and they can see you across the yard. So this is where it gets a bit risky. You have to be very careful coming up here. Keep an eye on that roof off to the right because sometimes they'll be up there. Um, I'm rushing a bit here as well, just to try to get those bags back in. But yeah, sometimes they can be up on that roof. They can be spotting. Um, so yeah, they can see you come up out of that sewer, sewer. So you do just have to be careful. I don't think I really do it on this video. But what you can do is walk up that ladder sideways. If you walk up it sideways... Um, you can go up ever so slowly and you can tell whether someone's up there or not by the torch light. Okay, so... Yep, yeah, it's free again. Thanks to the Hox HUD, you can actually see as well just how many um, people are on the level. We've got 15 guards on this level at the moment. You don't normally get to see this without um, Hox HUD. But yeah, there's 15 guards on the level, plus there's the one that I killed as well. Uh, it also tells you how many more bags you've got left. I think it's always slightly wrong. I'm not entirely sure how it works. I've got a feeling it might be measured in 
how many baggable items there are on the level. So in other words, anything that's stored within a crate I don't think shows up on there. And at the moment it's saying there's eight available on the level. Okay, so someone's spotting me up on the roof there at the moment. So hopefully if I go slowly up here, uh, which I do keep an eye out, can't see any torchlight, should be fine. Okay, so even after that, we're up to seven out of nine. Um, I will say on Overkill, I think, is probably the hardest you can go to on this level, um, playing solo, because on um, Deathwish, it's incredibly hard. Um, they add a hell of a lot more to the level. Okay, so now we're going out here. Another reason why I wanted to make this video whilst I'm looking around as well, you've got to be careful for a camera there, by the way. Um... <laughs> Another reason why I wanted to do this is because a lot of people will kick you out. Okay, this is a crapshoot as well. People will kick you out of a room when you're doing this if you haven't got the overcharged ability, I think it's called. The one where um, uh, you put down an EMP jammer and it knocks out all signal. Meaning you can only really play if you've put points into a certain class on this. And it's bullshit because this is easily doable without it. Fair enough, you're not going to be doing it as quickly as those people. But... Like I said, you've got to give people a chance on this game. There's more than one way of doing these missions, and you've got to understand that. Okay, sometimes you get two money bags in this one. The first container we went in usually only ever has one. This one has one. Sometimes it has two. Okay, so at this point, you really want to be going backwards and forwards with your money. Um, well, actually, not at this point. Uh, at the moment, that is my eighth bag. So really, I should be cashing that in, I will say, just now. Because if you get seen for the last bit, as long as you've got that one bag and can get back to the deposit, uh, the van in time, or to the drop-off point, you're going to be safe. Okay, this is a bit of a risky one. Uh, to be honest, any of the ones out here are a bit risky. Uh, you've really got to be vigilant and keep, out, uh, keep a lookout for those guards. Um, keep marking them, because that will help you immensely on this it really will okay he's looking that way so i can get up there now uh the first two are relatively easy not many guards usually go around there and there we go that is bag number nine um but if you haven't got the required amount of bags by this point go through these containers out here first try and learn the layout of the containers and try to get in them uh save it for the end though like i said do the building first and get what you can done in there first before the possibility of more guards show up so at this point this is done as long as you don't get spotted taking these back you should be fine um we never actually went back in that building on the left there um that guard, if he was still there, would have been relatively easy to take out. And there's usually a cocaine in there. I think I might have left it because there was no cocaine bag in there, possibly. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I can't remember now. But anyway, yeah, that is basically it. Um, so if you're playing Payday 2, give other people a chance to play this mission. Because all you're doing is frustrating people and putting them off playing this mission. It's a really fun mission to do when you're all in communication with one another and everything comes off right. It just feels absolutely brilliant. Um, so yeah, I really just wanted to make it just to prove that this is doable. Uh, and that's it. This is, this is the overkill difficulty as well. Um... So anyone out there that says this is too difficult really isn't giving it the proper chance, really. But anyway, that is it. Yeah, All done. I am one rich man. And as you will see, the rewards for doing this one are incredible. I mean, look at that. You're looking at 2 million before it's taken off and 1.6 million into your offshore account and 400,000 into yours. It's amazing. The experience you get is fantastic as well. The risk bonus... As you see, you're getting a massive payoff for doing that. So really, it's worth doing. Thanks for listening anyway. Till next time. Bye.